The Wi-Fi application provides insight into access points, clients, networks, and channels. In this video, I'll go through the various views available within the Wi-Fi application and the information each provides. When we first open the Wi-Fi application, we see the channels map. The channels map graphs out utilization and retries for each channel. The number above the line is the number of access points on the channel, and the number below the line is the number of clients. This first page displays the channel information for the 2.4 and 5 GHz bands. In this case, I'm using an Etherscope NXG300 that supports the 6 GHz band as well. I can view this band by tapping on 6E above the graphs. Overlap displays BSS IDs and their channel widths. The channels displayed may be changed by tapping on the channel range at the bottom of the screen. This display is useful for identifying networks that are occupying the same channels. Let's go back to the channel map. Tapping on a channel will bring up channel details and spectrum at the bottom of the screen. Tapping on channels detail will drill into the selected channel. Spectrum requires the NetAlly NXT1000 portable spectrum analyzer be attached to the USB port on the top of the test tool to display the RF spectrum graphs. If I tap on the menu icon in the upper left corner of the screen, I can move to the channel view. This view will display all the RF channels. The real power of this view is the ability to sort and filter the channels based on several fields. I can change the sort field by tapping on the field name above the list. This will display all the available fields. In this case, I'll choose client count. Each channel card will now display the number of clients on that channel. I can change the sort order by tapping on the sort order icon. The channel list may be filtered by tapping on the filter icon. From here, I can create filters based on bands, devices, SSIDs, APs, and BSSIDs. These filters may be combined to create very detailed filter criteria. I'll tap the back arrow. Tapping on a channel will drill into the channel detail. Let's change the view to SSIDs. Here we see a list of discovered networks. As with the channel list, I can change the sort field and apply filters to this list. Tapping on an SSID card will allow me to drill into that SSID. Here I can see the supported 802.11 types, security, number of APs, BSSIDs, channels, and clients for this SSID. I can also tap on the Tools button to connect to this SSID. Switching to the APs view, we can see a list of available APs. In this case, I'm sorting on the number of SSIDs being broadcast for each of the APs. If I want more detail about the AP, I can tap on the card for that AP. The BSSID list will show the discovered BSSIDs. As with the other views, I can sort and filter the list. Tapping on the BSSID card will allow me to drill into the detail for that BSSID. Lastly, we have the clients list. The test tool will use the information from the discovery application to populate the names of devices. For each device, I can see the SSID to which it's connected, the channel being used, as well as the sort field I've selected. I'll select security type. This allows me to see which devices are using WPA2 and which ones are using WPA3. This is very useful when migrating to Wi-Fi 6. As with the other lists, I can tap on the card for the client and drill into the detail for that client. Any field in blue is linked to other applications and views on the test tool. Tapping on these fields will take you to that application or view. Scrolling down, I can tap on the RF and traffic statistics. This will focus the monitoring on this specific device. We can see the channel being used by the device, the channel width, signal information, utilization graph, transmit and receive rates, as well as the retry graph. Up to 24 hours of information may be collected on these graphs if left on this screen. You can zoom in and out of the graph by using the slider below. Now I'll go all the way back to the clients list. All of these results may be uploaded to Link Live if the test tool has been claimed. I can upload it by tapping on the three dots in the upper right corner and tapping on Upload to Link Live. Once uploaded, the Wi-Fi information may be shared, filtered, 
and a report may be generated. 